Today we go high to the highest village in Sri Lanka, Shantipura, just 5 kilometers from Norelia. Shantipura is 7,300 feet above sea level on a slope around the top of Kikliamana Hill and was named by planter T. William Fernando after his wife Shanti. Shantipura also has the highest reservoir in the country, fed by water springs from the Kikliamana Mountains. Welcome to Prime Group Kaleidoscope with me, Savitri Rodrigo. We have 12 speed reading programs to gift on Kaleidoscope, so watch Kaleidoscope with Savitri Rodrigo on our multiple digital channels to find out more. Giving financial independence for women is DFCC Aloka Savings Account, empowering women to attain their aspirations. Advising me on strategies for success, like a mentor. Supporting me every step of the way, like a sister. DFCC Aloka is a financial solution designed to empower females. In our dose of positive, daring, different this week, global lifestyle design meets the local vibe. Dress that divides and unifies in some sugar, spice and everything nice. Plus, we pack in a lot more. Hold your breath in for a moment. Find your calm. This is the Green Embassy Homagama. Invest just 3 million rupees to reserve. 0710 Prime Lands Residencies, PLC. Here's our snapshot this week with a quick look at the week that was. After achieving 15 billion US dollars in export revenue for 2021, Sri Lanka is targeting an ambitious 5 billion US dollar growth, expecting exports to net 20 billion US dollars in 2022. While food prices saw a slight decrease of 4% from December to January, there was a year on year increase of 16%. Sri Lanka's foreign reserves fell by 25% in January to 2.3 billion US dollars, which is just a little more than a month of import cover. Showcasing an impressive performance, Prime Lands Residencies posted a commendable profit of 1.15 billion rupees on revenue of 2.6 billion rupees for the third quarter. Indian billionaire Gautam Adani becomes Asia's richest person with a whopping net worth of 88.5 billion US dollars. For the first time in its 18 year history, daily active users on Facebook fell albeit slightly, to 1.929 billion users in the three months ending December 2021, compared to 1.93 billion in the previous quarter. Mount Everest has lost over 2,000 years' worth of ice over the last 30 years. And Australia will spend 35 million US dollars over the next four years to protect its much-loved koala population. You're watching Prime Group Kaleidoscope. Welcome to our news capsule. It has not been a great week for the Colombo stock market given that investors are now showing signs of caution. When the market closed on Thursday, the All Share Price Index moved down by 3.08% and the average daily turnover moved down as well to 5 billion rupees. This week saw WTI oil soaring to new heights at above 90 US dollars per barrel after US crude inventories dropped by nearly 5 million barrels and fuel demand rose to an all-time high. Gold prices stabilized at the 1800 US dollars per ounce level helped by a weaker dollar and lower US treasury yields. The beautiful Valley Gama coast will soon have an exciting new freehold address, South Beach Valley Gama. Designed by Balmon Studio, which is led by the world's leading thinker on form and structure, Cecil Balmon, OBE, he's worked on the Gherkin in London, Bird's Nest in Beijing and Australia's Sydney Opera House, as well as Sri Lanka's Cinnamon Life. The eight-storey complex housing 106 apartments is the perfect affordable alternative to a five-star hotel. Leading the project is John Balmon, and I asked him how he thinks South Beach Valley Gama will transform oceanfront living. 
It's a combination of several things. It's uh, our international expertise, our passion for modern design, and also our passion for working with Sri Lankans, Sri Lankan talent from carpenters, masons. All of the furniture here is handmade. And I think it's about giving a lifestyle uh, investment and a place to really enjoy right on the beach in Weligama, a beautiful big sandy bay where there are loads of surfers and above everything else it's creating a great vibe on the downstairs with our restaurant, our bar and our food and beverage offering and we believe that this should be enjoyed by a lot of people and we've purposely kept um, our prices of our one bedrooms and two bedrooms uh, very attractive and we see these kind of uh, designs and developments as very much um, uh, the future of Sri Lanka. Beneath the Great Wall of China lies the world's deepest high-speed railway station. Buried 335 feet below ground, the three-storey structure covers 36,000 square meters and is believed to be the world's deepest and largest underground high-speed railway station. Deep in the ocean off the coast of Tahiti, an enormous twilight zone coral reef stretches as far as the eye can see and is seemingly not touched by climate change. Hold your breath in for a moment. Find your calm. This is the Green Embassy Homagama. Invest just 3 million rupees to reserve 0710 Prime Lands Residencies, PLC. Now, if you like to add four extra days or two extra weekends to your life, here's what you do. Speed Read. And Kaleidoscope is gifting a free speed reading program to our subscribers and followers. There are 12 free programs to gift. One each month and each is valued at 20,000 rupees or 347 US dollars. Conducted by Speed Reading Maestro Sanjeev Jairatnam, since it's on Zoom, anyone from anywhere in the world can learn to speed read. All you have to do is send us a message on any of our platforms, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram or LinkedIn, that you're interested. We'll be back with a revelation of how dress can be both a divider and a unifier. We are here to better your lives and champion your every goal. With 12 billion rupees worth of customer benefits in 2020 and a life insurance fund worth over 100 billion rupees, our strength is your strength. You focus on your goals. We will take care of the risks. Selinko Life. Fashion is one of those constantly evolving genres and in every sense, it defines the female form whether we like it or not. It's not wrong to say it's a living art. A widely published author in the space of design, female fashion and movement, senior lecturer fashion design and product development at the Department of Textile and Apparel Engineering, Faculty of Engineering of the University of Muratua, Dr. Ayesha Vikramasinghe recently published a very interesting analysis of the dress of women in Sri Lanka. Welcome Ayesha to Selling Your Life, Let's Talk. You told me that this book evolved from being your dissertation for your PhD. And reading through this, I was utterly fascinated. In doing research for your book, what was the most surprising or the most revealing fact that you came across? Uh, when I doing the research, after the research, I found, uh, because it's a fashion prediction exactly, uh, the 20th century, it starts from 1900. Then from 1900 to the independence, it means 1948, our people wore to impress themselves. It means just to elevate their social status. So that's the concept uh, behind that period. Then after 1948, up to the 1970, that means uh, globalization, the people were just to reveal the morality. The dress shows the morality. And after 1970s, it means the globalization up to the 2000, uh, people want to wear something uh, easy to use. That means mix and match clothing styles. You dedicate this book to unknown designers who have created clothing fashion of ancient Sri Lanka. What is it about ancient Sri Lankan fashion that strikes you? Mainly the people who lived that time uh, wore the clothing for just to uh, elevate their social status. 
and they believe there are elite women and middle class and the low class they believe the caste the religious uh, ethnic groups there are many uh, diversifications it means uh, people always wear just to try to that uh, just uh, convincing their social gap and the most striking thing is the uh, the colonization the colonial people uh, take advantage from that they think the dress is most important thing they can deviate the people as groups and it is really help them to rule the country but that's the behind philosophy but no one knows that so see the dress is most powerful thing it can rule a country so from what you said for centuries clothes have defined who we are what we are where we come from now has this changed in the 20th and 21st century yes 20th even 21st century the customers become the people who lives that era so if we take 20th century those people just to wear elevate themselves i mean the mainly the social status it means as a group they thought okay we won't wear as a group thinking but when we come to the 21st century there is modernism and post modernism and the customers become uh, just worshiping themselves they believe themselves they just uh, worship their figure so they feel very individual dressing they are so 20th century it feels like just to elevate themselves as a group but when we come to the 21st century that's individual thinking individuality is there so that's the difference So how much of an influence has colonization had on our traditional mode of dress? I I think the fashion attitude is main there because if we uh, take our traditional clothing mainly the saree and usari still we are wearing that's there we can call it like anti fashion because still it's in the fashion st- uh, cycle. Uh, if we take red and hat day but little there are but not much so that's the fashion attitude. if we think we want to live with our traditional dress it's with us it's life it means we can wear it but if we just say we don't need we are just ignoring our uh, dresses it's definitely fade away that's the reality that's the fashion attitude so i feel the main thing is fashion attitude thank you so much for joining us on the show today aisha who would have thought that what we wear and how we wear it will be so powerful and so multidimensional On Life in 60 today we taste a bit of sugar spice and everything nice Tamara Raymond is an entrepreneur who took her love for fire and spice and packaged it with a little bit of heaven For me, sauces, dressings and marinades are the essence of any great meal. It's where the magic happens. Tams Gourmet was birthed as a spin-off from my cafe Life Food because many of our customers would inquire about our sauces and dressings. I want to showcase the wonderful ingredients and flavors of Sri Lanka. Therefore, most of the Tams Gourmet products have a heavy Sri Lankan flavor profile or at the very least a twist. Fire starter Naimiri sauce our best seller is fiery hot therefore you need just 1 teaspoon. The Sri Lankan chili marinade is a must have in every fridge. You can add it to any of your meats as a marinade or use it as a flavor enhancer for a curry. Salads were a highlight on the life food menu so we've bottled the dressing so you can enjoy the same great taste at home. I hope that our products adds a little convenience to your everyday lives. and makes your home cook meal a gourmet one with valentine's day heralding the biggest time for chocolates here's the peanuts creator charles m schultz words of wisdom on kaleidoscope takeaway all you need is love but a little bit of chocolate now and then doesn't hurt